Partly cloudy, though, going through the rest of our afternoon. Slight chance for some isolated rain may be possible, so keep that in mind for the Salem Super Cruise later on. It's going to be better to go in the first half of the day where we're likely not going to be seeing those rain pop ups. Pollen will at least be high for the trees and grasses this afternoon, so if you are sensitive to that, just make sure you don't forget your allergy meds. Tomorrow afternoon, cold front will be arriving. We'll have a few showers and storms to contend with. And then we are finally home free. We got much more comfortable conditions already by tomorrow evening. So let's go ahead and jump right into future tracker. So we have a mix of partly to mostly cloudy skies. Peaks of sunshine later on for this afternoon. There's those pop ups. They'll be pretty sporadic. Not everyone's really going to be seeing the chance of rain for today, which is good. We don't really want to see too much rain. We've already seen way too much for this past week. Luckily, we did not have any major flooding concerns here in the valley. However, around the, sur the surrounding region, they did see some flood advisories and flash flood warnings. So we actually ended up lucking out. However, we really can't take much more rain. Going into the overnight hours, patchy fog, any kind of rain should be lightening up. But by tomorrow morning, we already could have some rain greeting us on the radar, so we'll keep an eye on that. But then that cold front will be swooping through. Notice the winds now shifting out of the north and west. That means that cooler air is moving through, pushing out a lot of this rain. However, it's going to allow for those showers and storms to develop in the afternoon. More so for the folks down towards the south and east. So if you are headed out into Pittsburgh on Sunday, you may be contending with some heavier showers and maybe some storms. But by Sunday evening, check this out. Most of the clouds are starting to go away and winds coming in out of the north will be slightly breezy, but it is overall just going to feel a whole lot better because that moisture is finally going to be out of here. But Monday, Maybe some more rain as well, but let's not focus on that. Let's talk about the more comfortable temperatures we're going to be seeing. So 80s this weekend, 70s for the work week. And here's the even better thing. This is how much moisture is in the atmosphere. The lower the number, the more comfortable it is. And in fact, we're going to go way back down into the 40s for those dew points by the middle of the week. It is going to feel absolutely pleasant as we head on for your work week. So just a couple more days and we are home free. So today, highs in the mid 80s, one less hot and muggy day. Tomorrow, Load or tonight, low to mid 60s with some patchy fog developing. Now, tomorrow, we'll have a mix of the sun and clouds to start off with some scattered showers. And then, once that front is through, we are done, at least for the evening, because then rain returns for Monday. But at least it'll be a whole lot better to be outside. And then, Tuesday, slight, slight chance for some isolated rain, but mostly dry for that day. And then, Wednesday and Thursday, We'll keep those skies completely rain free. Highs in the mid 70s, much lower humidity, just comfortable outside. If you have any plans going on those two days, you don't have to worry about weather being an impact. In fact, you're going to want to try and make plans for those days because it is going to be nice to actually be outside and not actually have to worry about the rain or the mugginess or the heat for once and at least over the last week.